I'm standing in front of Lake Geneva with the city of Geneva in the distance in beautiful Switzerland. We're here for the Geneva Auto Show, but Volkswagen has put on a Golf R for us to drive around. In Canada, the top model in the Golf range has always been GTI. Well, now there's a new dog in town. There's 500 of these cars coming to Canada, basically in this configuration. Historically, GTI owners have treaded towards the four-door model with the hatch, so that's the model they're bringing with the Golf R. It's fully loaded, manual transmission. The only difference you'll notice in this car, it has winter wheels and tires. We're going to get a nicer looking wheel on the Canadian car. Fully loaded, as I mentioned. The only thing you get to choose in Canada is the color. We're going to drive around Switzerland, then we're going to cross the border into France to the beautiful ski resort of Chamonix Mont Blanc to check out this new Golf R. A regular Golf GTI has a turbocharged four-cylinder engine. It's two liters, produces 200 horsepower. This car still has a two-liter engine, but they've tweaked it and they're able to achieve 256 horsepower, 247 foot-pounds of torque, and that power is going to all four wheels instead of just the front wheels in the GTI. The thing about this car is it's a very civilized car if you're going to drive it every single day to work and for a commute, but it has that power and fun and attraction when you want to get out and entertain yourself. Cars that would compete against would be the STI from Subaru and maybe the Lancer Evo, but this car definitely is the dress shoe of the bunch. Now it's a lot of fun getting to drive from Switzerland into France to Chamonix, Mont Blanc, beautiful ski resort. But the highways, you get to really open up the car, do speeds of 130 kilometers an hour on a regular basis. And this two liter engine, when it's in the sweet spot, the revs are quite high when you're cruising along in the highway. So you always have that passing power. You do with the regular GTI, but you get that much more grunt. And the all wheel drive traction, we didn't get a chance to really utilize that on a beautiful sunny day like this. But I could imagine with having wet or slippery conditions that would really aid not only in traction, but also handling. This vehicle is very comfortable, it cruises on the highway, it's not too loud and buzzy, which isn't the case with some of the other cars in this class that always seem to be on. They're performance hatchbacks, but they don't ever really let the driver relax. This car is a bit of luxury, a lot of performance. With only 500 of these cars coming to Canada and most of them spoken for, you'd be very lucky to get one. And the future of this car really is in question. The reason is there's a new Golf coming on an all new platform for 2013. Now of course Volkswagen's going to bring in their regular cars and a high performance model like this might be years away. So if you get an opportunity to pick up a Golf R for just under $40,000, you're getting a lot of car for the money.